Good morning. Happy Monday. Let me just bring this up on my phone. Um, maybe. Maybe. Here we go. So here we are. Um, this morning I thought I'd just go over where I'm at with um, my whips and sew alongs, which I have three, I think. It's crazy. Um, I didn't think I had that many, but I do. <laughs> so anyway, um, what did I get done? I did get some things done. Um, I did get my bowl done from um, Donna's so long. So I'll grab that and show you. Um, oh, you turned out cute, right? A little rustic. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. Probably cords. So I'm always looking for where's my phone cord, where's, you know, whatever. So there's that. All done. It's good to get things done. Feels good, right? Um, put it over your hat. There we go. Uh, let's see. So I've counted three so longs that I'm in. Pat Sloan's. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Brenda. How's everybody on a Monday? Right? I'm I'm pretty good today. Uh, hi, Janine. Welcome. Um, so you guys weren't here for the first part of it, but I did finish something. I know, right? It's crazy. I, I was like, I got to finish something over the weekend because I just felt like I have too many loose ends going. You're working on another quilt as you go. Wow. Beautiful day. Just found out I have COVID. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have symptoms or no? That's awful, Janine. I hope they're not too bad. Hi, Kim. Mild sore throat. Oh, let's hope it stays that way. You know, little little sore throat and the the part of it that you know you don't want. Yes, I hope so for your sake, hon. Um, so I was counting up uh one of their cover directional, this one cover, this one is to cover directional language. Oh, wow. That's cool. I can't wait to see that one, Sylvia. Yes. A lot of rest, Janine. A lot of fluids. Um, you guys are just talking. Meanwhile, today I'm working on my Magnolia mystery quilt. Oh, that sounds interesting. Hi, June. Hi, Tracy. Um, where is that from? Have I heard of that one? I don't think so. I was like, what the heck is that? <laughs> uh, hi, Colleen. Melissa. Okay, so I already showed my bowl, but since nobody was here, I'll show my bowl again. Um, I did finish that this weekend. Um, and then I was counting up how many things I got going. It's a lot. I should really finish up more stuff. Um, so here it is. Whoa, isn't she cute? I'm going to put cords in it, I think. So, yep, yeah, that's done. Yay. 
Um, did I finish anything else? I don't think so. It was so nice out that um, we were outside a lot this weekend. Thanks, Sylvia. Um, thanks, Tracy. Yeah, I, I, I didn't spend a lot of time inside at all, really. Um, I did finish my so long for um, so long block for Pat Sloan. Um, thanks. Thanks, Patty. It was fun. I want to do a rug um, for my husband's side of the bed because he's always complaining that, well, it's, it's ceramic tile. So, you know, you get out of bed in the morning, it's cold. <laughs> so I want to do him a rug and it's kind of the same idea, except, you know, you're not using clothesline. It's the president's mystery quilt. Oh, interesting. I'd love to see that. Um, that's a big bowl. <laughs> you know me, big, bigger the better. <laughs> so um, I'll show you what I, the other thing I got done was her black from last week, the pants loans. It goes with, uh, it's not perfect, but I was so irritated with it. I tried to get it perfect. And um, I said, you know what? It's it's the way it is. So this is last week's, right? Or the first one. Here's the second one. Ooh, the glare from the window. Um, it doesn't match up in spots. And I tried. I really tried. Um, and I said, you know what? I'm going to stitch in the ditch. Nobody will ever know. So that's what I'm going to do. But I think when you get the whole thing together, it'll be fine. But I tried like three times, took it apart, put it back together. It had to be my quarter inch or something or the way I cut it, maybe. Maybe I cut it a little too big and then my quarter inch was off. I don't know. I'm done messing with it. It is what it is. And that's that. <laughs> so then I was counting my other UFOs. Um, I got Lisa Kaplan's applique or Kaplan, however you say that. I don't know how to say her name. Um, I have one black that I have to do for this week that isn't done yet. Too much time outside, I'm telling you. But it was nice because it was like 68. 70 and um nice breeze it wasn't too hot um so i have to do that one and hi agnes how are you oh uh, and then i was working on that i don't know does anybody get quilt maker in the mail i got it for a long time I'm going to try not, I'm trying to be positive. I got it for a long time and really never made anything out of it, you know? Um, and then this year in like January, or maybe it was last year at the end of the year. Um, is she, a mo you are a moderator. It's Capen. Capen? Capen. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know that because I've never been, I've never been there live. I've never made it to one of her lives. I've always just gone there, rewatched. And when I rewatch, I don't really pay attention to the chat too much. I just watch it. Capin. Thank you. Capin. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I was, I was talking about this quote maker and, how can I put a positive spin on this? Um, so anyways, last year they, they announced that Bonnie Hunter, she has an article in here every, every time it comes out. And it's usually a block. And um, so then they, 
last year they announced that they were going to have a mystery quilt. I was like, oh, I got to do that. So I got to buy the magazine. So I bought the magazine and it comes out every two months, right? Um, and I never get my magazine on time. You'd think I'd live in Indonesia or something. Um, so I, I just, once this is over, I will probably just not buy it anymore. But um, So anyway, it's Ruby Jubilee, right? And they're doing theirs in reds, obviously. Ruby Jubilee, you know, that makes sense, right? So theirs are all in reds. Oh, I can show you this one. This is even better. So this is, these are the blacks for, for this month, right? And they're all in reds. Well, I didn't have a lot of reds, and I wasn't going to um, go out and buy anything. You are making it, Patty. So I said, okay, what can I do? So I ended up doing blues. And um, I had a bunch of blues that are all the same line, which is kind of challenging to use all the same line. But I'm giving it a whirl. Um, it's over there, but I have some of them over here. So that was my plan. Are you doing them in red, Patty? Mm, June. Oh, you didn't, June, you didn't know either that um, Sylvia was a moderator? So you eat and watch. <laughs> Do it. Sometimes I watch her too, uh, Sylvia. I don't catch her that much. I don't, I don't, I don't catch anyone live usually. Hi, Shirley. Yeah, so that's what I did is I, I said, well, I'm going to use blues, but I used all the same um, line. I'll show you the fabrics. They're over at the other end of the table. So hold on. All right, so there's this one, and then not much of this one left. Oops, I really like it, <laughs> apparently. Um, I used it for all the other blocks. And then these three, right? And then white and whites for the background. So... The problem with it is there's not a lot of value. I didn't really think of that when I picked them out. So I'm just going with it. Yeah, I follow her too, but I just don't pay attention to the chats. I, I think because I'm not usually there live, I just go in, let's watch her video and then print out what I have to print out. But I know, I know Sylvia does it because I've seen some of her blacks. Reds and blues. I have a friend that's doing reds and blues and I think light blue too. Makes it a little easier, you know. Um, when you do that, like a uh, one line, there's not a lot of value there. Made it kind of hard on myself, but it's working out. Uh, yeah, check her out, Janine. If, it, um, I, I piqued an interest in her because I wanted to try, um, applique. And I think that's her niche, isn't it? Patty. She's, that's her thing. 
I'm pretty sure. That's how I found her. Uh, I could I could put a splash of purple in there. Although, you know, I was looking for my granddaughter this weekend through my fabric in the closet. And that's just what's in here, not what's elsewhere. Um, and she was making drawstring bags. Really cute. Um, and so she made a drawstring bag and she goes, uh, Nana, I'd like a purple one. I don't have a lot of purple left. <laughs> I have to buy some more purple. <laughs> Uh, she has loads of videos. Yeah. Yep. What I've seen of her blocks, I think any color from the color wheel would look great. Yeah. I, I just, I wanted to try something different and I thought, Oh, I'll use one whole line. And I kind of made it harder on myself, but that's all right. Hey, you made it to a live. Welcome Brandy. I try to come to yours. Sometimes I make it. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> I'm not into, you're not into applique, Janine. She does more than applique though, doesn't she? I, I don't know. She does a lot, but she does. She also does journals, blocks, t-shirt quilts, etc. Oh, she's a, she's a master at pretty much everything then. That's nice. You don't have a lot of purple left? No, I don't. That quilt really sucked it all up. That that one right there. Um, so I must I must purchase some. Uh, that's that's heartbreaking, isn't it? My husband will be my hmm. sure yeah, do. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so I could sew for a bit, I guess. I'm doing, I'll show you the block. I can't show you the measurements, you know. I can show you the block. What did I do on my paper? Okay. We'll just do this. There's no measurements there. That's the one I'm doing. Okay. Um, what do they call it? I don't even know. It's kind of like a square and a square with a couple of nine patches, right? Um, and the kids are off today. So it's been a fun, it's been a fun 24 hours because my 11 year old granddaughter has her friend over and then the seven year old is here too. So it's been a lot of tee hee hee. And if you remember that age, um, everything's funny, <laughs> everything's funny. And they're talking about boys and preteens, you know, there, there are priorities. They're funny. You need tips, Janet, Janine? I made one. Well, I have the top done. Two tops, actually, of um, a t-shirt quilt. I'm working on the scrappy backs for them. Um, it's slow. Slow going. Because I don't know. I want to do scrappy backs, and then I kind of want them to coordinate with the front. And I just haven't got that far. <clears throat> so did everybody have a good weekend? Did you get any um, sewing done or no? It was so nice here. I'm telling you. Let's move you a little. There you go. It was so nice here. I, I, mm -mm. I should do my quarter inch. Hmm. 
Maybe I won't be ripping it out like that Pat Sloan block. <laughs> Oops. Get back here. Morning, Kathy. How are you? And maybe I had a pin too. Looking for my pen cushion. <laughs> what did I do with that? Oh, it's hiding behind the light. It's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday. Yep. So we did a lot of gardening this weekend because um, we have mostly perennials, mostly. Because um, I think annuals are kind of a waste of money because they only live up here for, you know, what? If you plant them in May, right? June, July, August, September, then four or five months and they start looking like crap. So, I'm not a fan of annuals. I just get a little bit because they have more color. And um, so, we planted those. And that's about, that's about it. Played outside. My husband's doing a fairy garden. Well, actually, we're doing it together, but he's doing the backbreaking work. I'm not. I'm not. But we kind of planned it together, so that's fun. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. How are you? I thought I saw you there. So we're doing that and um, we planted some annuals and mowed the lawn and took the kids for a ride around the property. That was fun. Um, we were looking for deer. You didn't see any. Uh, oh, no. Not much going on. Um. My 11-year-old is done with school. She's all set. Uh, the 7-year-old has to go this week, half days. Not today, because today is Juneteenth, the celebration of yesterday. Um, but she, they have to, she has to go the rest of the week, which is silly. Um, half days. They should have did two full days and been done. Oh, you're in a suburb. You're close to me, Janine. I am just, uh, well, it's a day trip, let's say. Um, I'm just south of Rochester. So, yeah, you are close. Yeah, Melissa, how is that new toy going? Is it fun? I'll bet. I don't know the first thing about it because that involves technology. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to see what she comes up with for that thing. Talking about the scan and cut. Melissa got a scan and cut. A brother scan and cut. If you didn't know. Janine, did you get hit with that storm at all last week? It's weird. It went right around us. It was crazy. Which, knock on wood, I'm glad it did, but it was nuts.
Hi, Stephanie. How are you? What are you doing today? Uh, let's see. I got to have one more. And I'm done with these four patches. Stephanie is working on getting links for the week and then down to the studio I go. Down to the studio she goes. Yay. All right, I have three, so that's enough for one black. We'll move on to the next one. Do you over here? You over here? Right. Need more room. Tracy's been working on Disney Princess cross stitch. Oh, speaking of cross stitch, I do have a question. Do you use a hoop or no? Because you know how to cross stitch, but I'm trying to, I have one project I'm going to do, but um, I'm thinking to myself, do I need a hoop or do I not? For these, because there's little, because I'm doing, I don't even know what you call this, but um. It will look like this. Right. I don't know what you call that. Um, because these are so little, I just fold them. No, mark them and all that jazz. Like this. I wish somebody would let the dog out. Can you hear it? <laughs> Can you hear them? <laughs> Always need more room. And I have some wings, let me say. <laughs> I'm six foot tall, so I, 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 I got some wings. <laughs> no alligator arms here. Uh-uh. Nope. You're playing right now. What are you What are you doing right now? Do tell. Do share with Do share with the class, Melissa. I crossed it in hand. Started with a hoop, though. Yeah, I, I'm debating. Do I put it in a hoop or do I not? But I, if you put it in a hoop, doesn't it kind of stretch it out? Tracy, yes, I have quite a few sizes, but you embroider without it also. Maybe I'll try it first without it and see how it goes and then maybe try it with it. Because my thought is, and I could be totally wrong, um, my thought is that it stretches it out. I don't, that's my thought. The cloth, I mean, the holes, you know. Probably makes it easier. I don't I don't know. I'll have to try it and see. All right, we do them the same way. Pay attention. Yes, we are. Okay. Stitch and flip. Yes, that's what I'm doing.
I don't know what that block's called though. Does it does it have a name? I know I know she uses it a lot. It's snowball. Well, it's kind of like that, but it's a rectangle, right? Okay. All right. Do this one. One, two, three, four. Oh, some blocks from an exchange. I think the rest might be a little bit. It doesn't stretch, but it makes it taunt. So easier to work in the stitches. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm going to try it without, and then I can always put it in. Uh, you find it easier in a hoop. All right. Well, I do have a hoop somewhere. I don't know where. Shirley's working on a half square triangle quilt with stripes. Yay. That sounds interesting. Mods, can I do a can I do a shameless plug? Go ahead. Have at it. Um, let's see. Yes, no one can replace Colleen. Mm -mm. The kids are getting rowdy. Can you hear them? I just heard my husband on warn them. <laughs> It's nice out. They should be outside. You're doing a giveaway on your channel right now. Kelly's Cruises, Crafts, and Quilts. Now say that three times fast. <laughs> Just kidding. Actually, I don't think I could. I'd mess it all up. Um, but she's doing a giveaway on her on her channel right now. So go visit. I will visit it today. Um, when I embroider blocks on my um my quilt i did use a hoop because the blocks were too small for any of the hoops you didn't use it you did not use a hoop yeah that that quilt was gorgeous that quilt was a lot of work a lot of work hi mary It was beautiful. I had purple in it. <laughs> kind of stole my heart. Okay, but this one, it'll be all right. Just finger pressing these over for now. Dorb. All right. So then we have to go the other way. 
for these, right? Yes. Actually, I may have done this backwards. No, I don't think I did. Okay. It's all good. Colleen put that link right up there for you. All you got to do is click on it. Made me cheer up when I finally finished it. Oh, there, it was beautiful. I can see, I can see why. It was gorgeous. I loved it. No, Lori, the other way. Yeah. So I've got to, I've got to do two of these. Oh. Two of these blocks. Have you done your blocks yet, Patty, or no? For this couple of months. Jumped out. With Nybot, not my scanning. My, you're not playing with your scanning clout yet. See, I'd be all over that. I think I sewed this wrong way. Yeah, yeah, I did. It's rats. What is Nightbot? Nybot. I'll ask. I'm not, I'm not shy. What is it? <laughs> Sorry. So this is what happens when you talk and you sew. Or at least for me. At least once on a live. Sometimes more. <laughs> uh. Anyway, what are you going to do? It's the way it goes. Not used to it yet, I guess. So I don't really sit in here and talk to myself. I might think to myself, but I don't really talk to myself. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, let's try this again the other way. All right, now let's see what I'm talking about here. I have the first two magazine patterns done, but I haven't started the May June ones. Which one is this? Hang on. Let me see. Is this the June July? It's got to be. No, July August. July August. The pattern I'm doing, Sylvia. The pattern I'm doing is in Quilt Maker, the magazine. Doing live stream and actually doing something. It's hard, isn't it, Kelly? I'm not I'm not used to it. Some people make it look so easy. And then you're trying to pay attention to the chat and do what you're doing and talk. Because you don't want you don't want dead air, right? That would well, I have dead air for a few seconds or maybe 20 seconds or something until I think of something else to talk about. 
Um, how do you how do you find time to get everything done? That is a very good question. In which I do not have the answer. I struggle. Actually, I make certain days of the week for certain things. That's helping. I don't know how Patty does it, though. She can tell us. Patty, how do you do it? <laughs> do you share? Uh, I don't know. Can you get it in the UK? I don't know. I'm not sure. All right. Now, this time, we're going to do it the right way. And we have four of these. Let's put these over here. Everything is a work in progress. Agreed. Until you get to the point where you're like, I have to finish something. I have to finish it. Uh, yeah, I'm like that too. And when I do finish something like that ball, I get all excited. I'm like, yay, I did it. Yay. the way it is um and you okay janine went to your channel and she she realized she wasn't subscribed but she is now yay to kelly's channel don't forget to subscribe to mine too <laughs> So what's the giveaway? Got the bot info, just not looked at it yet. Hi, Teresa Louise. How are you? How was your weekend? Uh... Mine too, LOL. <laughs> That's right. Grab them all. <laughs> oh. We're all cool cucumbers. We all have our own little thing. I haven't figured out what mine is yet, but um, when I do, I'll let you know. So did you have a good weekend, Teresa Louise? I missed you yesterday. I missed you yesterday. Because by that time, I had had enough. It's, it was like, well, of course, here it's like 5 o'clock, right? I had had enough. Of the gardening, the the everything. I was done. Spent. All right, one more. Woohoo! Thanks for the support, everyone. I have to go now. Okay, take care, Kelly. I'll be there after I'm done. Good. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm glad you're feeling better, though. Uh... 
Uh, you guys are just talking to each other, so. I had to look at that one. I didn't want to rip another one apart. Because apparently I can't talk and so yet. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. All right. Now, if I fold these over, we'll see how well I did. Oh, can't get much better than that one. Now, if the other three are like that, we'll be good. Let's see. Okay, I can deal with that. This one. Oh, nice, nice, very nice. Hey now, that's three. We're on a roll. Patty gave her thumbs up at the door. Thank you very much. Rent is paid. Kim said, thank you very much. I got my thumbs up. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, everybody. I appreciate it. All right, so... Now we have our little, I don't know what you call them, little doohickeys. See? Very nice. So those and those and them. What am I missing? Four patch. Okay. Put you over here. All right. Oh, here we go. Food. Sesame seed or onion. Thank you, Brandy. Are we talking about bagels? What are we talking about? That's what I'm thinking. All right. What'd you do with that, Lori? Here we go. All right. You make me smile. There's snowball corners. I know. What is wrong with me? I, you know, I am Polish. <laughs> my, all kidding aside, my grandmother was from Poland, so that's what I blame. And you can laugh because. I laugh at myself all the time, you know. It's just me. Some people find it annoying. They don't have a sense of humor. All right. Okay, so these are going to be my other four patches that go that way. Uh, have you made? Yes, I made them all. Patty, I made, I made, I'm caught up to June, July. I made all of them. Oh, gotcha. A little slow, Janine, a little slow. I thought you were talking about bagels and you were talking about me being on a roll. <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> oh, well, always a little behind, you know. Now I get it. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, we have a sense of humor. We don't care. I really don't care. It's all in fun. It's not, it's not being mean or anything. So, and even if you were being mean, I'd probably laugh. <laughs> I wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> I've had enough of that in my life, people being mean, you know, mean girls. I went to a school that was very um, uppity and I was a country girl. So that didn't, that didn't work out well. You'd like to see them? Um, I can, I can pull them out of the drawer. I even know where they are. They've been sitting in there ever since, you know, I got them done, shoved them in the drawer. One second. I will go get them. I think this is all of them. Yes. Okay. Whoops. Tripped on my cord. <laughs> um, anyway. I don't know. These probably aren't in order, so. <laughs> yeah, I know where they are. I know. I know. I even know what drawer they were in. Here's that one. All scrappy, scrappy, scrappy. Um, here's this one. And I think... I think I did, um, yeah, they're all different. Here's that one. And this one. That one. Yeah, all the blades are different in the pinwheel. This one. Then... These are the bigger blocks. Um, that one. And there's a couple of these. And then, so I think this, I, I think, can't wait to see how these go together. Oops, sorry. Right? Here's this one. I think Courtney was doing one very similar to this, if I remember correctly. I know I saw somebody doing it. I'm pretty sure it was her. If memory serves me correct, There's a bunch of these. I'm thinking these are connectors. And here's the last bunch. There's quite a few of these too. See, they're all the same fabric line. I just changed out my neutrals. My space is a mess. I don't know where anything is currently. You know, I just redid, I just, I just finished going through this room, um, doing a bin a day. A couple of weeks ago, I did a live with doing, doing a tote. 
Um, and, and that's the only reason I know, to be honest with you, because I went through everything and sorted everything. And um, actually there's a, uh, there's two totes in that closet. One of them is like everything a yard and under, and it's actually sorted by color. It was not before. It was, you know, just folded and thrown in there. Um, and all my neutrals, because anything with a white or a cream background is a neutral to me. Okay. So all of those are in a bin over there under the table because I use them a lot. Um, and that's the only reason I know, to be honest, where things are. Because I just went through them all. <sighs> the scan and cut and you were in an uproar. Has me in an uproar. Oh, thank you, Tracy. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just curious how they're going to go together. Thanks, Patty. I hope so. Uh, the blocks are pretty. Love that blue. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I don't work with blue very much. Um, yes, the Donna Jordan one. It was Courtney. Ha! My shot is working today. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh. Oh, thanks, June. Uh, is that a batik or an indigo? Dies. Are you talking to me? Say what? Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, Teresa, I'm very excited to see how they put this together because these are all her, because um, she does one article a month right? And she puts one scrap block in there. I can even show you what this month is. Um, and all of these were in previous issues. Uh, let me find it. I'm a huge fan of hers. Huge. All right. Here's her one for this month. Right? But every month she has one in here. Um, I don't usually buy the magazine. I only bought it for this particular mystery. Um, but anyway. You know where everything is within three guesses. Ha! Oh. <laughs> yeah, my shot is working today. <laughs> I would say to my husband, don't make me angry. You make me rub my shun. <laughs> oh, we are reorganizing because we are bulking, building a design wall. Oh, that'll be cool. Is that going to be behind you in your corner, Brandy? I've been using the trunk. Yeah. Yeah. What's the name of your blue line fabric? Let me see. I don't know. I can tell you where I got it. Uh... Oh, right here. Um, it is Sapphire Blossoms by K. England. It's a Wilmington print. You see that? Probably not. Okay. Lunch is ready. All right. And I got this at thousand of, thousands of bolts 
if you're familiar with that. They're out of Ohio. Quick service too, let me say. Write this down. I'm going to give you a number. It's called Blue 4079. Because I leave the sticky on the fabric in case I run out. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it is a pretty line. And and their fabrics, their their fabrics aren't, they're not thin, you know, they're pretty good quality. Um, and they're quick about shipping. Quick. Of course, I don't live that far away, but Getting that bot set up should help with some stress. So you can concentrate on the scan and cut and distract you from I, I, technologies. Mm. I'm telling you, it's bad. I get all stressed. And I start saying things I probably shouldn't. <laughs> oh. Trying to figure out where all the scanning cuts or cut stuff is going to live, huh? Yeah. I'm going to get that back. Yeah. Please. Did it. Got you yesterday? So did we um did we share everything we needed to share? And everybody knows about the the what do they call it? The traveling quilts. Right? Did you share that already or did I miss it? Does anybody not know about that? Couldn't move my entire right arm yesterday after fighting with it. Oh, Melissa. Oh. Are you better today? I have the bandwidth. Oh, yeah. ETM. Trailing. Gotcha. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I think. There is a pre-recorded interview tonight on with Handmade by Ying featuring the mod. Well, we all know who that is. That should be interesting. Colleen, 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 Colleen. I could start singing that. <laughs> People sing that to you? <laughs> you soaked in Epsom salt and it helped. Good. Donna's channel. Yeah. You're blushing. <laughs> Don't blush on my account. I, I can't wait to see it. I bet I bet it's interesting. Your interview. <laughs> Does your husband sing that to you? Mine would. If that were my name. But it's not. Ah, oh, yeah. You need a, you need a, what is that thing? The tub. Whirlpool thing. You live in the right state for it. Well, no, maybe not. We want one. Tonight at 7 p.m., it is pre recorded featuring the Colleen. The Colleen. It'll be so fun. It'll be so fun. 
<laughs> Did we get everything, everybody? Jolene to be, but my husband. Huh. <laughs> I'm thinking about that now. Why does he not do that? <laughs> Can't wait to watch. And me either. We need to learn more about the mysterious Colleen. I was nervous. I was a nervous wreck. We're good. I bet you were a nervous wreck, but I'm sure you did fine. He doesn't sing. <laughs> Neither do I, but I just kind of belted it out there a little bit. Hi, Patty. Guess what? We're just wrapping up. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, please don't take my man. Right. Or maybe there are days we'd say, please. <laughs> please do. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm really kidding. I've I've been lurking in work called. Oh, okay. I did. Hi. Thank you, Terry. Yeah. Everybody thumbs up and subscribe. I'm like this close to a hundred. I never thought I would have 10, but here we are. <laughs> here we are, which I'm super psyched about. I, I'm actually, it's, it's overwhelming to me because honestly, I never thought I would have 10. <laughs> yes, thank you for the serenade. We'll be serenading you tonight. Well, I'll be singing Colleen, 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 Colleen. <laughs> All right, everybody. Before I get too goofy, I guess I better go consume some lunch. Um, have a great day. Ornery. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> thanks for stopping in, Patty, and saying hi. And we'll say hi and bye, I guess. Um, I'm glad you were lurking, though. Uh, <laughs> you guys all set? Oh, Kim, you're welcome. Thanks for being here. Give me somebody to talk to. I appreciate you very much. And all my mods, thank you. Thank you. You guys are great. Yes, I, I hope to enjoy my lunch and the rest of my day. I'm going to finish these blocks and move on to the next thing. Um. Okay, everyone, take care, and I'll see you Wednesday at 11, um, or before that on somebody else's live stream. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>